Oh Lord. Alright, looks like I'm gonna dart off here for a second and tuck my strings in. forget I'll be honest if I could take this string out I just absolutely would take the string out can I do that can I just rip this string out Welcome to My Done Life. This is where I take you on my adventures on two wheels or four. Today we're out on the Dead Man Dyna, just getting in some last bit of ride time uh, before the weather turns completely too cold for me to ride. Anybody that knows, I'm a bit of a fair weather rider. Uh, it gets below 60 degrees and I don't really want to, I'm not that too interested in riding. And so we're out, uh, not far from my house actually, there's some, uh, I wanted to get show off some beautiful foliage from the southern Ohio area. Actually, I'm in central Ohio, I guess. Um, but it's just absolutely phenomenal right now, this time of year, it's beautiful. Uh, and when you can catch some decent weather like today, I mean, it's gonna be like low 70s. This is just absolutely phenomenal uh, view to just get out and enjoy some time on two wheels. With that said, let me talk about what I've been doing all summer. Um, if you've been a follower of the channel, and I've got a lot of new followers, and I apologize, I've really not done a lot of video content. I've recorded a bunch of stuff, I just ain't done nothing with it. And there's a lot of reasons. One happens to be, uh, I've had a ton of audio issues. I've been um, trying to convert over using this 10C Evo to do my audio, and uh, been real hit and miss. I, I swear I hit record, I hear the recording, and then somewhere down the line I hit the button again to stop and it's like, recording! And I'm like, what? <laughs> that you weren't recording. I don't even know if it's recording now, even though it told me it was. Um, but on top of that, I've uh, I've been right like this is one of the only maybe couple of rides I have done this summer, this whole season, um, that didn't include my wife. Um, my wife has been uh, riding with me almost uh, every time I go out, and uh, nothing against her, nothing against that. I'm, I'm, and just like today, I kind of gave her the choice. It's like, if you want to go, go. If you don't, like, I, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Like, you know, I, I planned on shooting some content and just trying to get a little ride in. And uh, I have to actually work here in a few hours, so. I am just trying to take advantage of this weather while I can. Um, so, uh, like this week it was 40-ish degrees, I think was kind of the high to this week. And that's way too cold for me. Um, like I said, anything below 60 degrees. And I have no interest in really riding. I, the whole bundling up and wearing cold gear and all that ha like has no appeal to me whatsoever. Um, God, you know, Godspeed for anybody that does. I know a few people. Um, Jason, aka Mr. McStash, you know, he he rides pretty much all year long. 
unless there's like truly like several inches of snow on the ground he's he's he probably rides a bike more than he actually drives a car i almost guarantee that and uh but yeah it's been a i'll be honest it's been a lot of highs and a lot of lows uh for me this year and um as far as riding i've i got more riding in this year than i have ever um i don't remember the miles right off the top of my head but i can tell you i i guarantee i put more miles and i'll put it on the screen how many miles i've uh, i've done this season and um i have uh but i've done more miles than i ever have um in one season and i'm absolutely uh happy about that i was really hoping it was going to be like i want to say double what i put in and it almost did and i'll explain that um but i'll explain where i've been so uh a lot of it it's not that i haven't been recording a lot of it's just i've been uh, I've been so busy with work uh, and then trying to enjoy riding with the wife and so I haven't been I haven't really been moto vlogging things like that I've just been trying to enjoy the ride and uh, like I said not really moto vlogging uh, when I have sort of moto vlogged I always seem to just have that problem of issues with audio or video or whatever um, my uh, my family for Father's Day got me the 10C Evo and uh, I've had a bit of a low hate relationship with it. It is kind of cool because I can, in a pinch, if I'm not, if I don't have all my gear with me, I can just hit record, shoot something real quick, and, and be done with it, you know. And um, but it's 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 also uh, I've had issues where I swear I hit record, I can swear I heard it said recording, and it not record. Um, And I've had, you know, when I'm trying to use that as my like only audio too, it's it's real hard. Even when I when I do have other, you know, when I do have other uh, cameras going and I'm using that as for my audio, it's just it does not work, you know. It's just and I just don't like doing a lot of voiceover. I don't mind once in a while, but um, the other part of it is I've just been busy with work. Um, for any of you who don't know, I took a different position last year with the company I've been working with for almost a decade. And uh, that job has uh, spiraled a bit out of control. Uh, I'm being pulled in a lot of different directions. Uh, I've been taking on a lot of extra work. In fact, I'm going into work later this evening. And uh, so I've been I've been putting in extra time and extra hours, and that's that's really harbored my ability to sit down and edit video and things like that and a couple times that I've, I've tried to put some videos together and just I can't get the vibe I want I want to try to tell a story but I I, I haven't quite learned how to shoot that way and I've been uh, I'm a member of this uh, group called um, content creators oh my god why am I forgetting it now content creators it's a group it's a private group for content creators if you're interested i'll leave a link in the description below you can contact the the admins for this for the group and uh if you're interested it, it doesn't necessarily i mean motor vlog is a lot of what we do talk about and and shooting that kind of content but that's not the only thing we talk about um there's a lot of great uh a lot of smart people in that group that you know if you're having trouble editing something or you you're interested in getting started whatever and um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of smart people in that group that could really help out. Um, I have done several uh, seminars with, a, with with some of my fellow moto vloggers, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. I actually do enjoy helping other people. Um, I've done a lot of the tech uh, portions of it because that's that's what I do. Uh, kind of been my daily job. I'm sort of an IT guy, and. Uh, you know, so I've had a lot of questions about like, hey, what kind of computer should I buy? Is this good? Should I upgrade this? You know, can I, how can I make this work better? Uh, and I, like I said, I've, I've, I've tried to help out as many people as I can. Um, you know, feel free to, you know, sign up for that group. Like I said, there's a lot of great people in that group. And if you're even just remotely interested in content creation, um, like I said, it's a really, really great group to be a part of. Um, and I've gotten to meet some of these people in real life. Uh, a lot of them are really super, super nice. And uh, like I said, I, I just really, really enjoy uh, being a part of that 
that group so um kind of speaking about group and, and the people i've met so one of the things i got to do and this was kind of a high for me this summer uh i got to go to taswell virginia it was kind of a quick trip for me i didn't i didn't get to go and do like back of the dragon or anything like that which was uh which kind of sucked but i uh was really just wanted to, it was more of a of a test because me and the wife had been invited by um, Mr. McStash and his wife to uh, go with them on their 10-day trip that they had planned out at the end of the summer and I'll be honest I was super ready to go like I was uh, my wife on the other hand was not sure she could handle it and I I, I totally get it we you know like that that Virginia trip was our first you know out of state trip on the bike uh, the only thing the closest we've done is that we did uh, Hillbilly Hot Dogs, which is right, literally right across the border of Ohio and West Virginia. So we um, we definitely have been, uh, like I said, doing a lot of riding and and spending a lot of time together. But like I said, as far as the big trips, uh, the Virginia trip was our first. So what we did is we we left after work on a Friday. We went halfway down. Uh, kind of middle of Virginia, West Virginia, spend the night, got up early, and then head the rest of the way down. We met up with the rest of the group who actually had just got done doing the Tale of the Dragon by the time we got back. And um, so we sat down, we had lunch, and, and or, uh, I think it might have actually been dinner at that point. We had dinner with them, uh, with a whole bunch of people. We got to, I got to chit chat. We talked about, you know, life and moto vlogging and YouTube and all that kind of thing that that you know people you know bring up conversations about like-minded things and um, like I said it was it was just really awesome to, to get to sit down with a lot of these people and a few of them I have uh, you know I've been following for a while and uh, so finally getting to you know shake their hand and see them face to face and it was really really awesome I got a ton of stickers. I still need to do a new mail call uh, for all the stickers I got. And uh, really looking forward to uh, to next year. Uh, with that said, uh, so the first part of the season, I got to ride, oh, it seemed like every weekend, me and the wife were going out somewhere and riding, even if just a few hours, um, which was just absolutely phenomenally great for me. It was great for my, my mental health. It was great for, you know, I think our relationship. And, uh, you know, things were really going well. And then right after the, the Virginia trip, um, a lot of things kind of just went down the, down the toilet. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, I had, uh, I had two very close aunts pass away literally uh, within a week of each other. So we had the funeral for one, and then a couple days later had the funeral for the other. Um, very, very hard for me. Uh, I will openly admit it was it was super difficult for me to go through all that. Um, the second one, I almost didn't want to go, but I, I both for, out of respect to my family and my cousins and, and all that, I, I couldn't say no. And um, but I, I won't lie, that was that was a devastating thing for me. I can't imagine what my what my dad has been going through because uh, it was both of his sisters and. Um, one of them actually, he, he, you know, they they live in the same house, or did live in the same house, and uh, you know, it was just a it was just a combination of bad health and situation, and so, you know, it was what it was, and God, I love this bike. But anyway, with that said, uh, like I said, it was it was a low for me, and I really just uh, needed, I, I, you know, I really needed some time on two wheels. But I just, I just couldn't. We had so many things wrapping up between the funerals and the, uh, and my daughter was getting ready to start college at the end of the month of August, and so we just just didn't have time to break the bike out. I literally. Uh, when we got home from Tazewell, Virginia, I literally pulled the bike, like, I didn't stop for fuel, we went straight home, um, you know, got, got in, in and, and 
just parked the bike and I literally didn't pull it out for two months. Uh, between all that stuff that was going on with my family and, and then like I said, getting my daughter ready for college, we just didn't have the time. And it coming out right around uh, the first part of September, which is normally easy ride to rodeo for me, but because they moved this year, none of my family were going. And honestly, that was the only reason I ever went uh, was because of my family went, you know. And if, because it wasn't local, and because of the the situation of parking and whatnot that we knew was going to be up there, we we didn't want to. It wasn't worth the trip for us. Um, so I hate to say it, easy ride to rodeo might be uh, no longer part of the part of my yearly routine. Uh, but during that time was when Mr. and Mrs. McSash were going to do their 10-day trip. And again, I said, like I said, we, we were working on getting my daughter into college. We were, we were handling the student loan. And we had, uh, we went, had went through one of the, the big school loan companies and, and got a loan. And I co-signed on it. And, you know, it said, hey, include all your your expenses for the year, da 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 and, you know, yes, there was some fine print, but, you know, we, we went that route versus, like, a government loan, which we could have gotten, a government subsidized loan, which would have been cheaper, but we wanted to be able to kind of wrap up everything, you know, I wanted to get her a laptop, and I wanted to, you know, there was a bunch of, of stuff we had to get for just for her to go to college. Uh, she's going to Cleveland State for nursing. And um, we, uh, we spent a lot of extra money uh, that we didn't kind of have with the intent was, okay, we'll get it back when, after the loan clears with the, you know, after they pay the school. No big deal. And we found out very shortly after that they would only approve up to the amount the school approved, which did not cover any of her personal expenses uh, or her laptop or anything else uh, that we bought for her for college. Uh, which left us in a bit of a financial pickle. So it, it was coming pretty close uh, to that moment where we had to decide, you know, can we afford to go or can we not? And ultimately we decided, no, we really couldn't afford to make that 10 day trip. Uh, we were even talking about uh, maybe doing a shorter version of that trip, but yeah, ultimately we just, we had to say, we had to pass. Uh, I felt bad. I know that, you know, Jason and them wanted us to go and I, I wanted to go. There was, no, you know, there was nothing in my head that said I didn't want to go. Um, I was, I was ready. And, uh, but it, it, it's just way things, you know, it's just way finances happen and we couldn't afford it. So, like I said, that's why the bike sat for, for two months and then I finally pulled it out and, Finally, what cleaned it up and wiped it down. We uh, I spent some time, you know, getting things, getting it product prepped for parking it for the winter, which uh, some of that I'm going to have to redo. I uh, put some non-ethanol fuel in it, which is what I'm running right now, uh, and and then I still put some stabilizer in it just as a as a secondary precaution. Especially with this bike being fuel injected, I don't want to, I don't want to have any any issues in that category. Um, and anybody that wants to know uh, if you've never if it's available in your area and you happen to um, park your bike for the winter or for months at a time, uh, if you can find non-ethanol fuel, it's it's, com it's somewhat commonly referred to as marine fuel uh, in some places because uh, they're not allowed to. On uh, certain bodies of water, because uh, ethanol is a marine pollutant, and uh, so if you can uh, if you can get your hands on some non-ethanol, it is it is something that a bike will uh, help keep the moisture because that's what ethanol will do. It will absorb moisture, which cause 
condensation in your tank and condensation you know obviously in your fuel and that's why not, uh, ethanol fuel does not last as long as non-ethanol so anyway that's kind of where i've been the last few months and uh figured i'd kind of give a wrap up of the of the season and where where things have been and kind of where my head's been I, like I said, I am just glad to be out on two wheels, and uh, I'm going to be very sad when I when I can't uh, grab the bike whenever whenever I have the the inkling to ride. So here's a. Uh, I hope everybody has a great day, has a great week. I hope you ride safe and you ride often, and I'll catch you in the next video, whenever that might happen to be. Later.